I have always been a planner. I planned when I was going to get married, how many children I wanted to have, one girl, one boy, where I wanted to live, and what I wanted to do for a living. At one point in my life, I was a corporate event specialist in Manila, where I led a small team in planning events for telecom companies, banks, and the like. I took planning very seriously. True enough, I got married to my high school sweetheart, Ian, soon after I finished university. We then had two children, Yana and Andres, a girl and a boy, according to plan. In 2010, we migrated to New Zealand, our paradise. We instantly fell in love with the country and from then on called it our forever home. After settling in Auckland with my husband working as a motion graphics designer, I focused on working as an area franchisee of our family-owned out-of-school care business. In 2013, we had our third child, Aiden, our beautiful surprise. Not only was he unplanned by us, he also came with an unexpected diagnosis. Born with an extremely rare syndrome which affects approximately 1 in 1.25 million, Aiden had health challenges and complications from day one. Despite the developmental delays, multiple pediatric ICU admissions, and never-ending specialist appointments and therapies, our little boy slowly thrived and became the family star of the show, as our daughter always called him. He was also a budding artist just like his dad and sister. He had the biggest smiles even when he was in so much pain. Our constant reminder that when all strength is lost, there is always a reason to smile and count one's blessings. After his hip surgery in 2017, at 3 years and 10 months, Aidan suffered a brain stem stroke which left him paralyzed from the neck down. What was supposedly a 3-day hospital stay extended to 3 months. We took him home with a tracheostomy, feeding tube, and oxygen attached to him. My husband and I became his trusted nurses and our two other children, the biggest advocates of their medically fragile brother. Aiden lived another 19 months following his surgery. In the months where we cared for Aiden at home, we were exhausted and sometimes anxious. We had to give up everything, our business, our freedom, our sleep. But every single day that we spent with Aiden, we never doubted God's plans for our family. Because as we surrendered everything to Him and let Him take control of our lives, we saw joy in every battle. Aiden, in his inability to talk or move in his last few months, became our greatest teacher. Inspired by Aiden's life and our disability journey, I continue his legacy by working for a not-for-profit organization called Parent to Parent New Zealand where I support families raising children with disabilities as a regional coordinator for Auckland and just recently as support parent coordinator on a national level. Ian is also working as a community healthcare worker, a career so different from his old profession, but for him is his best and most rewarding job by far. Yana is on her last year of high school and will be taking up an art-related bachelor's degree, while Andres, lovingly inspired by his brother, dreams of becoming a doctor someday, perhaps at Starship Children's Hospital, which was our second home for five years. Fidelity to duty as the Assumption school song embedded in my heart all these years has helped me to remain faithful to God's calling, no matter if it was planned or unplanned. Proverbs 16 verse 9 also says that we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. The disability journey is something that I never planned to take, but what a beautiful destination it has brought me to.